Hi, I'm Connor Malloy. I've been studying with Peter Erskine for four and a half years now, and I'm going to talk today about one of my mentors, Billy Hart. Uh, Billy Hart comes up in a lot of our lessons. He's one of my favorite drummers, definitely a very melodic drummer, very much keeping in mind the form of the song, accompaniment, and how he fits into the rest of the band. So this is an exercise that he developed to help practice playing on the form as a solo instrument. This is a drum set etude based off of the form of a rhythm changes. So rhythm changes is an eight bar phrase of the melody. It's repeated a second time. Then there's a bridge, which is a different melody. It's a change. The harmony is different and the melody is different. And then it returns back to the A, which is a repeat of the first two. Now, the chord changes in the A's happen in two bar phrases. One, six, two, five, three, six, two, five, in a two bar cycle that makes up eight bars. In the bridge, the harmony is more spread out. So this is reflected in the melody that uh, Mr. Hart came up with. The first part, the A section, is a lick by the drummer uh, Vernel Fournier, which I can demonstrate now. One, two, three, four. So this is a two bar phrase, so it'll be played four times to make up one A section. That'll be repeated again to be the second A section, and then we get to the bridge. So the bridge is a lick by the drummer Max Roach. Max Roach was definitely one of Billy Hart's biggest influences. Max Roach did a lot of solo drumming, solo drum uh, melodies, um, was really focused on creating melodies during his solos as well as making sure he maintained the form, soloing much like a saxophone player or a piano player would. So here's the Max Roach lick. Here it is slow. One, two, one, two, three, four. So the next step is to play this as a melody straight down and then to solo over that form. Now when Billy teaches this it's often in a group of other drummers as well. So there is some an accompaniment aspect to this but you can also do this by yourself. On the fifth bar of the bridge there is a rhythmic figure, a background figure that comes from the Dizzy Gillespie big band and then later the Miles Davis quintet which goes as follows. One, two, one, two, three, four. So now I'm going to play the full melody, two A's, a bridge, and a final A, and then I'm going to solo, but over the same form. So I'm going to play two A's, I'm going to play the bridge, and then I'm going to play the last A. So try and keep in mind and listen for that melody that you can pretty clearly hear between those two great drummers, different licks there. So count it off. Two, one, two, three, four.
idea of this exercise is to help you develop melodic soloing based off of a solo form, keeping that in mind and trying to create melodies just like the melody that you played before. So even though you can't hear the melody behind when I'm soloing, I'm still keeping it in mind and that's informing my improvisation. This is a trait of a lot of really great drummers. Tony Williams, Max Roach, Billy Hart, Peter Erskine, Jeff Hamilton, all of these guys performed solo drums by themselves while still keeping in mind the melody, keeping in mind a form, and playing musical ideas in this context.